Hi. Battle of the boards time at boardshop.co.uk. Two crackers today. Um, the twin pin from Channel Islands, which isn't going to win. And the Cobra Killer from Lost Paul Lefebvre collaboration, um, which is an absolute cracker. I'll go first. Um, so we're going to rate these boards on paddleability, wave catching, maneuverability, fun factor, etc, uh, etc. Et so we'll start with a little look at the board first and the difference between the two. Um, you've seen the Cobra Killer before. It's been on the site for a while. It's a really good seller. It's very popular. It's like a performance twin pin. Um, a daily driver type board to sit above your groveler. It's got a little bit more rocker uh, in the nose than the twin pin and the rocker kicks in a bit earlier. Same in the tail. I'm gonna poke him in the eye. Um, it's got a little bit more rocker in the tail, marginal, and it, and it just starts a little bit earlier. And the rails firm up a little bit earlier on the Cobra Killer than they do on the twin pin. And then of course there's this luscious, double concave through the fins, which gives you all that speed and drive and hold. Um, so, Matt, you can go first on paddleability. Tell me about the twin pin. So, paddleability, good, very good. Um, as Biggie said, this is slightly flatter, so carries a little bit more speed, or for a board, especially you kind of these dims, than others will. Um, Look at them. <laughs> they are very similar in where they go flat. So really good paddle. Found it catches waist pretty waist high, really really well. Um, I'd, right. I'd give it like a, a strong four. That'll do. Um, the Cobra Killer is a you know a slightly better way forward. It's not gonna it's not gonna do uh, just itself justice paddling in waist height onshore uh, rubbish waves. It needs a bit of shape. It needs a bit of push. In the right conditions, with that bit of push behind you, it paddles in just fine. Um, it's not over rockered from a paddling point of view, so wave catching ability good, paddle ability good. But you've got to use it in the right conditions. The twin pin, as Matt said, is very slightly flatter in its template. The rocker comes in a bit later. Um, in marginal conditions, the twin pin probably edges it. In better conditions, the Cobra Killer does. So maneuverability. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you want to be using them in decent ways, don't you? Mm. Uh, Maneuverability, I think I, um, like you'll probably get onto it as well, they're very different. This is, think about Michael February surfing it, that's who designed it. Um, smooth, stylish, clean, long lines. It's, it's not 12 o'clock um, and it's not like hardcore, it's lean on it, Take, be gentle with her. She's a, she's a, she wants, she's a ballerina. Whereas this one's a bit of a rock star. The Cobra Killer's got that relatively straight rail, rail line. Um, and it, with that double concave, it's got so much hold and drive and speed. It's a beast. Um, what that does mean is not it's not like hard to turn like an old retro fish, which is really heavy through the tail, but it doesn't release quite as easily as the twin pin. It's not so carvy. It needs a bit more work to get it turning. Um, but when it does, it turns hard and fast. But again, it needs relatively lined up, relatively clean conditions. It doesn't, you won't get the most out of it in choppy conditions. So it's a bit more precise than the twin pin, I would say, which is a bit more carvy. Um, but it, in the right conditions, it goes really well. And also, it handles size. Now, Mikey February, you've seen him surfing in decent sized waves. The Cobra Killer, it's not a step up but it's at the upper end of where most boards, uh, kind of hybrid-y, performance -y kind of things will go size-wise. It'll handle real power um, and real size, a little bit more so than the twin pin. And we found hollower waves that beats it. It's amazing. So that's another, that's another tick for reading. I shouldn't really be helping them out here, should I? Uh, what's next? Um, no help required, Matthew. I think we know who's going to win. Fun. Fun factor. Again, it depends what fun is to you, really. Uh, this is effortless style, grace. Um, this is one of those boards where you, it doesn't matter what you look like in a photo, you feel like you're surfing well and stylishly. Um, that is true. I've seen Matt surfing it. <laughs> and he said he, he said he was ripping. <laughs> 
Yeah, um, so I, I love this. I think it's really, really fun. Get it in the right wave. If you get the chance to get this in a point break that's kind of shoulder high, nice like mid upright twin pin setup. Don't go too too much of a pin. Um, you're gonna you're gonna love it. You you won't surf anything else. Your thruster will be redundant. That's the thing about these boards. They're both really good fun in the right conditions. The twin pins probably got a slightly bit better performance, uh, lower end than the than the Cobra Killer. They're both really good fun boards. They're both a really good substitute as a board to sit above your grovler or longboard or whatever it is you take it out when it's rubbish. Um, <clears throat> they're both quite precise in what they're designed to do and how they work, but uh, the Son of Cobra is the winner. Make sure you subscribe to our videos, make sure you like our channel, follow us on uh, Instagram, and if you need any help with either board, please reach out to us, the team will get back to you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Cheers.